Welcome to Dunk Detective, everybody. Would you like to auto adv I would love auto advancing dialogue. You think so? I mean, didn't they just release the Hello Boss episode like three days ago? Like, didn't that just happen? Oh god, right. Recommended. Feel like a true detective. Less inform information provided when incorrect. A smoother experience for fledgling detectives. I'm gonna go with detective mode, I think. Um. I sure did. Okay. I'm gonna go with detective mode and hope that I am big brain. My duck detective skills are, 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 are up to scratch. Embies! I get five get the subs to Psycho or Whoa, Akina Fox, Witchy, Baby Bear, Vigazar, and Sleepy Butler. I was a freshly divorced duck. <laughs> Not able to pay next month's rent. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. And we thank you so much. My brain felt foggy. And I was trying to remember where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. I had to retrace last yeah, night's stacks. The next one is set to release sometime this month. Oh but God. I'm not gonna tell the creator to rush it. Fair. 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 I got a gift? What did I get? What? What did you send me, Zio? Zio, I'm gonna scream. What did you send me? Interesting. I think I've seen that around. Okay, I'll look at that letter. Yeah, I'm gonna bite you. Thank you for the gift. It's time to duck tact. Duck tact. Duck tactions are a vital part of detective work. Find clue words by questioning persons and inspecting your surroundings. Enter clue world words into the blank spaces to solve deductions. Yes, deductions, chat. The Nash tag. Someone spent his or her last money on blah for blah. Okay. I don't have any. Clues. Okay. I won't be needing this badge anymore. A police badge. I, I can keep it as a souvenir. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> ah, I'm just, I'm just. Oh, if things keep going badly. I can always sell it online. Yeah, it's in this style. Also, MC. Mwah. Ah, look at me. I'm just a little duck man. Ah, I knocked over my bin. Ah, yes. I can't believe it's the 2.5D. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Hey, Eric. Yeah, I've been divorced. I'm just a duck who got divorced. Yes. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. <laughs> it is dicey. <sighs> I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. I really... Now, she doesn't even answer my texts. I watched someone play it, Harry. I never played it. I, she's like a swan. Was he married to a swan? This fresh smell. Oh, sweet spongy loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. All right, Yoko. He, I have everything I need to solve this now. He he really likes his loafs. Uh, the duck detective spent his last money on bread for the duck detective. <laughs> <laughs> Not my proudest moment, but the toast helps me to forget. The toast. Oh yes, the bread. Bread it helps me forget all my sins and sorrows. I love being bread. Hannah! I'm a different duck now. <clears throat> I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. You have to believe me! Uh, <clears throat> oh. Yeah, you're speaking to the duck detective. I wish Let's I had a bird model. This in person. Now, be there in an hour. I love it. I love this so far. It's so, so good. Ducks migrate thousands of miles. Uh, in winter. How do you not have one? I, I've just never... I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. I've just never... Here I was. Really found one that I liked. Fair bus office. 
some sort of rundown call center. I suppose. I crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. I suppose, like, because I'm subscribed to Hobber, I technically have the Shapori, which is the model that he used to use. But, like, I've just never really found a, a, a bird that I liked, you know? New bus route starting in August. Yeah, sure, for our Visit the scenic mountains of South Sicilia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. I love his, like, his VA. His VA is very good. I mean, there's like two or three models. I mean, there's one I think that I remember thinking was actually pretty good, but I just never like I, I there was like the Paw Valley that I was kind of tempted to get at one point. Ah. Champ, thank you for the heck and hype train, you massive dorks. Thank you. I'm staying here until I get my money back. Bear bus? <laughs> more like scam bus. Could you tell me more? You uh, sound unhappy. You bet I am. Their stupid buses arrive late i came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning and they don't even want to give me a refund how much did you pay um too smart <laughs> but that's not the point it's about the principal i'm guessing that schmark is like pound or dollars oh yes i'm a disgruntled employee who's it's good morning for no reason. I see, I see. I can't go inside and talk to that lovely bull man. I guess I better go inside the the offices and find out more. Yeah. There's an average of five ducks per squared. Oh! Okay. I could already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. Cookie is a bottom. But I had to make my way into the office. Breasty, Fluffle, I love Cookie. I love Cookie. I love Allison. Jack, are we? My Maxim, Ollie, Cookie. Hi, guys. Welcome in. How was your stream? How was how was how was what were we doing? You were doing VR chat. How was VR chat today? We were uh, we're, we just finished B Indigo Park and they were playing Duck Detective. I'm a grizzled, recently divorced duck who has a thing for bread. Take that as you sound. Okay, if you haven't seen Cookie before, go give them a follow. Go give them some love. They're very adorable. They're very cute. And we want to squish their cheeks. Cookie's the bottom. I mean. He was abused a bit, but good. I mean, in like a good way. Was it like a good kind of abuse? <laughs> the best Rizzler. Hi, chat. I hope you had a good time. Hope you had a good time with Cookie. If you are new here, uh, my name is We play all kinds of games. And uh, we just be into Go Park and we're playing Dr. Tactive. Resty, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Crow Kingdom. And turn your squats. Oh, that's... How are your legs? Are you, are the, are you okay? You need to sit down. <laughs> Are you already sitting down? <laughs> They're rizzing you at the end. Yeah, but you're cute. Like you deserve to. You deserve to be rizzed. You know, like in a cute way. Like we love rizzing you. We love rizzing cuties. You know. I love Cookie. I love Allison. Thanks so much for follow. Welcome to the Crown Kingdom. It's a little cold up here, but I'm sure we can find a way to keep you warm. Yeah, best of luck. Listen, I haven't really, really like leaned into it. You know, because when I lean into it, it's a bit softer and deeper. A little gets a little bit more bassy. Usually I'm just talking normally. <laughs> Happy Pride, everybody. If you're having a if you support Pride, if you're part of Pride, I'll be having a wonderful Pride. You're flustered. I wanna I wanna I wanna fluster you. I wanna grip your I wanna do what I did to Wolfie it, it can fuzzle and just walk up to you and just grip your cheeks and be like, oh you shot your goo, you shot your cutie. Ooh, ooh. Do I? I mean Maybe. Maybe they should. Maybe we should find out. Hey yo, <laughs> did you hear that story? I walked up to Wolfie and we were sit me and Wolfie were sitting at Confuzzle, the the con, like last week, and I literally just gripped Wolfie by the face and scruffed their cheeks and said, "Oh, Wolfie, you're such a good girl. You're such a pink, po pretty pink puppy. Yes, you are. I I sinful." Mwah. Mature. Simple. What do you think of my uh, my duck game? They they squeak. They did. They squeaked a lot. And I would love to. I would love to get a drink with you at at Confazard. I will drink a pitcher together. 
I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. Okay. Do you work here? Uh, no. <laughs> well, then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from their bus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. Oh Listen, my god. Buddy, you better get out of here or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. Cookie, okay, can you confirm? Closer look and figure out what she's about. Cookie, okay, can you confirm or deny? Is that true? Inspection. Use the magnifying glass to find clues and press A to uncover them. Oh, wait, hold on. I swear to God, if someone steals my mug again, I'll end them. Okay. Uh, Laura from CS is way too loud. I can hear her keyboard all the way to my desk. Laura? The sub switch. Okay, okay. Okay. So, so you're saying that you sub for the right people then? Birthday. I'm guessing a suggestion. No, wait, hold on. Uh, Sophie, Sophie. Is he even? I see everything. These are quite mundane. Quite Let's mundane. Wrote something more scandalous. <laughs> I love scandalous suggestion boxes. Okay. Seven a day. Uh, smiley, happy. Oh, giraffe, cute. Okay. I feel like for some reason today is wrong. Maybe I'm not. Maybe maybe we're good. Tomorrow is Friday. Need to remember to collect my dry cleaning. Yeah. Gotta get my dry clean. My next, my other necktie. That's kind of crazy. It says server room. Server Thought. room. Ah oh, yes, this lady loves cats. I can see that from here. She's tired. Or sad. Okay, she's sad. Her name is Winf Winfimir. Winfimir. She has a boy band. She's a K pop fan. I love that, like, it gives, like, extra detail to their face when you, like, zoom in on them. I should be able to deduce her name now. Isn't her name Winifier? Isn't that clearly? You're still here? Yes. I'll leave you alone. How do I? Oh, okay. People, no. Yes. Sad because. People, no, because nobody has remembered her birthday. How do I? How do I? Ch uh, wait, okay, hold on. Wooden familiar. Is it Sophie? I guess. I should be able to figure out what's going on with her. I need to check my notes in the deduction section. I need to check my notes in the dedu in the deduction section. Uh, so... Boom! Got it. Sophie is sad because nobody uh, remembered her birthday. That's why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. You're still here? Happy birthday! I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. I did it, huh? chat. I deducted. Uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. No one else remembered. Can you believe it? What a... If you know my birthday. You must have a connection to someone here. Totally. Here's the key card to the office. Thank you. 
We got it, chat. We deducted our way into the business. I want. I love how that, you know, that if that was a real office, she would be so fired. She would be so fired. This is Markiplier. I, if this was Markiplier, I would love this game even more. Doctor's first species to abolish the monarchy. What the fuck? Okay. The stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long, or it would rub off on me. I want. I want to walk into every room and do that. This is the last straw. Veredersen needs to be fired. Huh? I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? I'm the duck if you detective. Have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the duck detective. A client hired me to investigate a case. Why didn't you just say so? Mm -hmm. It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. All we need to fire him is some evidence from the upper management, not me in my office. Oh, okay. I get it. I see First, what's going on here. I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. And what their I jobs to find are. My client as well. Thankfully, I remembered the piece of paper I had in my jacket from taking notes during the call. We love that. What is what is what does this say? Uh the client. Suspects. Okay. Giraffe. Sophie the giraffe works as a okay, it doesn't tell me anything. Alright, cool. Picky deductions might require new perspectives. Press D-pad down to gain additional guidance at any time. Okay. We just gotta look around and reach it. It's a list of all the bus drivers. The most busy driver out of all four seems to be Petrovich. Petrovich. That's a name. A name that could be someone disgruntled. Maybe even a spy. I need to investigate more. Hmm, Petrovich. Escargo, yes. He went Petrovich went to Escargo and caused trouble. Okay. I don't know why I need the station's names, but we have the station's Your names. Don't go very far. Because they're driven by bears. What the fuck? What? what? Is that sausage? Salami. Okay. High quality of salami. Spotless, good condition. This man keeps his salami in a really good condition, chat. He loves his meat. That's a lot of salami. That's a lot of salami. Sir, why do you have so much salami? Laura. Okay, your name is probably not Laura. Laura. Gustarian, I'm just... Oh. Thick glasses. Bad eyesight. Okay, maybe he's not a thief. Maybe he's just a... Maybe he's just got really shit eyes. I'm the only one here in the operating office. Can you imagine? I plan all the bus routes and make sure the buses are on time. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? You're doing a Don't bad you job. Have an angry customer shouting outside about the buses being late? I, uh... Really? <laughs> really? Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Do you have any idea who picked me to investigate? <laughs> no idea, but I'm so happy you're here. I have a copy of your book. The early bird catches the criminal. I wrote a book. Can you sign it? Sure, of course. <sighs> I... <sighs> yeah. I guess so. Woo! <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, Mr. Duck Detective. He's kind of cute. I won't ever forget this. He's kind of cute. This will become a core memory. <sighs> it's a canon event, chat. It's a core memory. Oh, he's cute. Okay. He's clearly not the. He's clearly not the one responsible. He's too adorable. 
The two desks on this side look unused. Hey, Alfie. Hi there. This is Bear Bus. How can I help you? Ugh, this is the third time you're calling. I'm telling you, your ex-wife did not cancel your booking. Alfie, how you doing? Yeah, looks busy. She looks a little uh, unhinged. Is is the way to insomniac. Own headset. She's dedicated. Look at her. She's like, oh, meow, 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 fucking meow. This, chat, this is sinful at work. This is sinful when she's at work. You're an EP. You're going to bite my ears. You can try. I'll bite your ears. This is sinful at work talking to customers. Meow. I'll come back and talk to her later. Bum, bum, ba, the PC is on, but the person who works at this desk seems to be on a break. Break. We only have a single person answering the hotline right now. That's, That's surprising. Sounds like my life. Whitlock. Hey, Phil. That's different. Me and sexy aliens. What? Me and sexy aliens. Password. I don't think I have enough information to crack it yet. I don't have enough information to crack it yet, but I will. I will find a way. I love that lost picture. How are you doing, set feel? Employee of the month. Insert photo here. Lazy layout. And it's fixed. It's a duck person. Freddy sucks. Rufus. What's his name? Rufus Sedaris. You're being group. Oh, God. Stomp with the post its. Okay, so Rufus Sedaris. I'm not sure I'd feel particularly appreciated. In here must be the crime scene. The First, crime I scene. I find out who the people in the office are. Well, it will make things easier in the long run. That's... I'll need to remember to write everything down in my deductions. Deductions. My ductections. <laughs> I shouldn't go outside. I need to find out who the people in I this didn't office realize. are first. Chat, I, I have remember a... to write down their professions and my deductions. I have a, I have, I have, I have a dedicated quack button. I have a quack button, like, like I had a meow button. Uh, right, okay. The suspects, Sophie. I don't. Oh, wait, hold on. That's right. Uh, this is Laura. Uh, I don't have a clue. Hold on. What did this say again? It said, uh, so it's uh, Rufus Sedaris. Freddy sucks. Rufus Sader. I think this is Rufus here. No. Okay. I was wrong. Well, that must be Freddy. Nope. He's not. I haven't talked to him yet. Laura... Is this fucking Rufus? No, right. So Rufus Sedaris is not any of these people. Is she you again? Uh, what browser are you using, uh, Fio? You can't take the pun out of the duck. Herr Ernst. The dimly lit room seemed to promise well-kept secrets and rumors. Ah, yes, I see it. I see. Fancy nameplate. He's clearly it the says, boss. Ernst. 
Herr Ernst. It's a letter for an application for a promotion to senior customer service agent. Signed by L. Angst. L. Angst. L. Angst. L. Angst. Laura Angst. Aha! Got it. Frame. Uh, Theo, what, what browser are you using? Mm. In secret compartment. Chrome, uh, try Firefox. Is it normal to have a huge painting of your family in your office? Can I, like, open it? What are you doing with my family's portrait? S sorry. I was opening it because you're clearly hiding something, sir. Angry bro. <laughs> Ty, expensive. Got any even oh wait. Stain and baby food. Uh so this is this is the uh, this is my Varg. I've had it for a while now. Mr. McQuacklin. Right. Apologies. Uh, are you planning on staying in my office much longer? I'll have to inspect the entire premise to do my job correctly. <sighs> well, hurry up. Get too many. I maybe I do. Maybe I do, okay? You this. Was it you who called me? No. I never heard of you before. That's unusual. It's good you're here, since there has been some... Unrest. What do you know about Laura Angst? Oh, she's a fantastic employee. She basically does the work of five people. We love Laura. Laura's good. Right, okay, hold on. Uh, I need to go here, so... Uh... How do you get his first name then? Because it's clearly Herr Ens. What a fat it says. Unless. Rufus? It's not Rufus or Freddy. Um. And it didn't say on his body. Hmm. Hey, Cloud, shh. I don't have any addictions. There are no addictions here. What are you talking about? Can I talk to you yet? Uh, uh, your yarn ball is still on the bus. Which route were you on? I need to ask you some questions. No, I'm sorry. You can't take your 12 trombones on the bus. What? Can't you see I'm talking to a customer? It's company policy. Nothing I can do. Goodbye. Do you know anything about who called me here? What are you talking about? Listen. I have a million more emails to answer, and there are hmm, 50 people in the phone queue. I have worked 10 days in a row, including three night shifts, and Manfred still doesn't want to give me a raise! Just leave me at peace! So, <laughs> you have no clues for me? Wow! <laughs> you too. Laura is adorable. I love Laura. What is your I've lived her life. With Sophie Windheimer. Well, she's just you. For a second. Oh man, I don't know how I'd survive the office without her. Sucks that she's at the reception. I would have loved to have her in the office. I'm back. Yes, please collect your toddler from the bus station. She's a cat, man. All right, hold on. Well, that does answer my question. Um, so this is Manfred. Manfred Ernst. Uh, I don't know who this could be. What's his name? Wait, I signed it. His fucking book. Yeah, I should know his name. What do you know about Manfred Ernst? I think he likes me. He's the only one who doesn't shout at me. 
Okay. Not helpful. Um, what about... Right, so Sophia Jansen works as a receptionist. The bear is Manfred, is the branch manager. Laura is a customer service agent. The crocodile is... Uh, I don't have his name. Where the fuck? Where the fuck do I get your name? I've looked at everything. What's his name? Wait, can I go in the kitchen now? In here first. No. I, it will make things. I'll need to remember to write. Um. I. What do you think about Manfred Ernst? Oh, he's a great guy. I just wish I'd finally get a raise. Yes, yeah, sorry. This is Bear Bus. Your bus will be three hours late. <laughs> Your bus will be three hours late. Nah. Okay, can I ask her? Uh, what about. Can I go say you? No. I need to find. I remember to write down. Smithy! Thank you for the tech in Prime for 10 months. Yo, just feel get burger we'll co and come back. We'll be we'll be here for a, few, for a while, while yet. Yeah. Thank Keep you so much. Enjoy those enjoy those emos. I'm reviewing and welcome back to the crowd kingdom. You're my cute little harbingers. I don't, can I give? I do I what do I how do I? What a fat it said. What a fancy name, Blade. It's a letter signed. Yes, yeah, so I can might ask Sophia. Yeah. That might be an idea. Bow, 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 bow. And can't need some fucking sleep. They're over one thousand ducks. What can you tell me about Laura Angst? Laura needs to chill out. I do love her, but if she keeps living like this, she'll have a heart attack by twenty-three. I feel that she does sound like she's kind of pushing it. So, do you have an idea who would have hired me? It's about the incident, isn't it? Um, sorry, no idea. She is useless. I'm so. B I don't understand why such a small office needs a reception. I'm just here to keep the angry customers out. Okay. Not useful. <laughs> It's a list of the most busy. Petrovich. This is the. Why is this person a salami? Mr. Brandenburg. I think that that would be a name that I could, like, take off this. Uh, we don't know who hired. Lunch was stolen. I mean, the mug one I could do because I know what that is, but. The two desks on this. The PC is on, but the person who they only have a sink, that's a pride. I don't have enough to deduce that, yes, no. Uh, some sort of reception. I mean, yeah, customer service can suck. I shouldn't go. I need to find it. I remember to. What did I miss? Like, what bit of information have I missed? Can maybe just talk to you now? This is Bear Bus. Ugh, this is the your ex-wife did. She. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can see something on him now. I don't know why it would be different, but like, no name tag. Laura. Why is he drinking a her cup? I'm missing something. There has to be something. Boom, 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 boom. You don't tell me shit. Nothing over here. I wish that I could get like... What are you doing? Sorry. 
I wish I could like open his like l secret compartment. Maybe there's something in front that I missed. Like maybe maybe I just ran past something and didn't realize. Or maybe I can get into the mainframe room now. It says it's locked. It's locked. Can I not maybe get into oh my that? God. Nope. That's done, that's done. I don't have a fucking clue. I love that, like, the, the second big puzzle is what fucking trips me up. There's gotta be something that I'm just not seeing. The two desks on. I'm gonna, I do have an assist button. Detective work isn't easy. Ponder the details. The thing that bothered me in particular was. Did I really inspect everything? It's important to talk to everyone. I always had the option to check the map. A map. A map. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Office, boss's room, and then there's outside. And the server. I have checked everything here. I think. Yeah, there's like the kitchen, which I haven't touched. Uh, wait, the bag. I don't believe I looked at his bag. But like, there was no prompt to look at his bag. Unless that's this. It's a letter for an application signed by. Yeah, it looks like I've actually done it. And maybe I'm just being stupid. Maybe, maybe I'm missing nothing. Maybe I'm I've got something wrong. But it's the crocodile who I don't get. Because it's not Laura. It's not Manfred. It's not Sophie. It's not the dark detective. So I'm missing his name somewhere. And I think that's because I haven't got it right here. I, I fucking did Freddy Ferguson. Well, that's dumb. Well, there you go. At least makes sense now. Now that I had worked out these names, I was ready to check out the crime scene. Let's see where that lunch got stolen from. Then I could finally talk to my client. Ah, yes, it's time to look at the lunch. The great lunch fiasco of 2024. I'm the duck detective. As soon as I entered the kitchen, the comforting waft of cheap white toast oh, no. my nostrils. Oh, no. I knew I had to stay strong. This wasn't what I was here for. Man's got addicted to toast. Stop eating the icing. Can't you wait a couple hours? Margaret, if it wasn't for these pants almost bursting, I'd have this for breakfast every day. Yes, yes. And you can have it and so much more later when we're done preparing. Hmm. Okay. Halloween party. Cancelled. <laughs> for budget cuts. Looking for editor. Unpaid. Hungry? No. Hungry? Get your own lunch. Office parties are a bad idea anyway. They stopped doing them at the precinct after the uh, jam. Incident. Was that you, Duck Detective? Did you put too much jam on your bed and, and go crazy? Margaret. Thanks for the food. Salami Bandit. Okay. Um...
It's the gator, isn't it? So, this must be the crime scene. It's got no is curious. It it makes sense if it's the if it's the gator. Oh, I doubt they wash their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. I am an, I'm a guy. I'm just a guy who does the fixing around here. Look at my guy. I'm just a guy. Oh, he's a sci-fi fan. What did I bring? He's a janitor. It's Janitor McQuacken. McDucklesby. Man's got trainers. Dishwashers broken again. What's wrong with these youngsters? Don't know how to treat things with respect. Why would they put the mugs in face up? <laughs> Dumbasses. I'm a private detective, and I'm here to investigate a case. Is that so? I need to find my client. Do you know who it could be? Uh, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine you would call detective. Personally, I feel we're doing just fine. I don't need no messing about our business around here. Oi. Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? Quack. Hey, Wheezy. He's a stubborn one. I do respect that. Would you say you enjoy Freddy Ferdersen's, um, company? Huh. If anyone needs to learn to respect their elders, it's that moron. Zen finger the free shoe chic. Okay. Yes, dear. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, detective, and I need to ask some questions. A detective? How exciting! What's the most gruesome murder you've seen? How many dead bodies have you encountered? Five little pigs. No one died, but I investigated a case once where five little pigs robbed a bank. Caught them red-handed and got myself an article in the Goose Times. They called it the Piggy Bank Case. <laughs> Did someone get shot? What? No. Beaten up? Uh, no. I'm a real quack hmm. detective, Wheezy. This lady. Oh, I'm just, I'm lovely, yes, impeccable hair. Ah, yes, I spent so long on my appearance, darling. Ah, yes, look at my eyes. Yeah, <laughs> she's morbid. I like her. She's like an old lady of a kind. There is. <laughs> She's divorced. Hey, Talia. You can see any, I think. It's not just a follow. Welcome to the crowd. It's a little cold up here, but I'm sure we can find a way to keep you warm. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. She just had a terrible breakup with her ex. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Can you tell me anything about Laura Angst? Oh, she's such a hard-working girl. I heard she secretly studies for her online bachelor's during work. You need to keep this a secret, though. Mm-hmm. Look, look, I've got to be honest, right? If she's studying for online bachelor's and answering 50 calls and answering emails and doing the work of five employees, it's an talented person. Do you know anyone here who could have hired me? To be honest, everyone was quite shocked by the lunch theft. And no one told me they've called a detective. I don't know what's going on at all. Okay. Someone hired the duck because their lunch was stolen by a co-worker. And I'm pretty sure it was Freddy. I don't know who you, though. Bread. I see the bread. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure out who they are. I'm gonna go Rufus. I'm gonna go with Margaret. Okay. And there's one guy left in the parking lot that I haven't done, but I am fairly sure. 
got so we got margaret uh customer service penguin is rufus is the janitor and the buffalo is the one that we've not talked about yet <laughs> i'm on a bread come trail <laughs> hey Ruji. Ah, outside the rain poured down. Cold air ruffled my feathers, <laughs> and I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone in the rain. But I wish that I inner monologued like like that every time I walked into like a room. Well proportioned nose, handsome. It's bodies. Bodies. And bad manners. What a bad mannered gentleman. Hey man, this isn't the bus stop. You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. What? I'm not here to take a bus. Boris Petrovich. Yep, yep, yep. Hold on. Someone left their bag here. Ugh. It's full of dirty chim clothes. Adding the suitcase files. The duffel bag. Oh, if I go inside, I have to face Sophie. Doo -doo -doo. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? <sighs> Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. Mm hmm. Do you, um,. Like Freddy Frederson? He's a pretty funny dude. Loves to rant about detective novels. What do you know about Rufus Sedaris? I don't think he likes me very much, to be honest. But then, doesn't feel like he likes anyone at this office. Except for Margaret, I guess. Do you think they have a thing going on? They got a secret <sighs> thing going on here. He likes. You were a detective. He likes. What's her name? The cat girl. I'm investigating a case here at Bearbus. Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Exactly. Do you know who called me? Nah, Innova. Too busy minding my own business. I don't talk much with the customer service folks. It's not. It's, I've had this for a while now. Do you know anything about this bag? Oh, it's really strange. Things in it disappeared. And others appeared. Very suspicious. <sighs> what are you even talking about? Is this your bag? No. <sighs> oh. Everyone here is being really unhelpful. Thank you, Nova. I too, man, too busy minding his own business. Too busy not giving a fuck, basically. I got a button. Okay. I think I know. I think I have an idea. So, suspects. Oh, I don't. I need to. Boris Petrovich. So, Boris is a bus driver. Now that I had everyone's name and job. It would be easier to figure out what was going on. And my guess is Freddy. No bodies. Wait, no, hold on. Uh. What can you tell me about Margaret Whitlock? She gets really angry with me when I don't return mugs to the kitchen. You have free um, mugs. Why don't you just return them? I do. Uh, just not every day. You have four mugs on your desk and one in your hand. You have five mugs here, sir. Do you get along with Boris Petrovich? He's a chill guy. I take the bus sometimes to go to bouldering conventions, and then we get to chat. Is this your bag? Huh? No, mine's over there. The 
one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah! Why do you need so much salami? That's not mine. It was just there. A really nice surprise. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Can you tell me more about Freddy Frederson? Am I professional? Let me put you on hold so I find the route for you. The heaviest Freddy? death. Freddy? He gets paid more than me. Can you imagine that? What an incompetent waste of office space. Hello, this is Laura again. I checked the bus routes and found that... Wow. She really doesn't like Freddy. I don't have enough to do that yet. Um, let's go in here. Hey, Cyrus. Hey, Zane. How you doing? Welcome. Are you getting along with Rufus Sedaris? You know, the two of us are from the older generation. Which means we understand each other well. D he is quite harsh towards the younger ones, though. Okay. Do you know whose bag this is? Isn't that... Freddy's? Interesting. I think it's a frame job, chat. your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? Ah, oh, she's a true sweetheart. True we sweetheart. We Mahjong evenings. Do you know anything about this bag? Why are you going around pushing bags into people's faces? Ugh, what's that awful smell? It's, uh, dirty gym clothes. Interesting. Who here would go to a gym? Because I don't think the Freddy does. I'm guessing the boss is trying to frame him. That's my guess, chat. Can you tell me about Boris Petrovich? He's uh, not the most reliable worker, uh, but it's difficult finding replacements nowadays. What is Rufus Sedaris like? Uh, not the greatest janitor, but he came with the building. He was part. He was part of the building, you know. Freddy does not seem well liked, no. Freddy hired Margaret. <laughs> okay, um the salami bandit. I'm going with not Margaret because Margaret's lunch was still there. My guess would be Freddy and then lunch. No? Part of the ship, part of the crew, <laughs> part of the customer service team, part of the office. All right, so that's Margaret's lunch, right? Hers is still there. That's Rufus's, and his is still there. This belongs to some of a paw on it. The cat. I think it's the cat who hired me. My guess is 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 Laura. Boom. So it was Laura who called me. I needed to discuss the case with her. You're my client. Why didn't you tell me? Can I put you on hold for a second? Ugh, what? Well, you should have told me you're the duck detective. I said you, this. I'm a duck. <laughs> I'm wearing a trench coat. <laughs> so is Freddy getting fired or what? <sighs> I'm uh, working on it. Ugh, it can't be that hard. Sorry, I'm back. Yes, let me walk you through the booking process. It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft and what they were planning in the kitchen. I, oh, okay. Hold on. So I'm going to say Margaret is planning a 
surprise birthday party for Sophie. Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. Hey, Axel. I see. He didn't actually forget her birthday. He caught a bottom. What are you going to do with that, Nuke? The culprit is being... framed by... because someone... I want to say Manfred. No. Because... No, okay. Maybe it's Rufus. No. Hi, Re. It's, uh, it's pansexual. You have to train them. You have to train them well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they are kind of a little brat, right? So you should, you know, really give them, uh, really give them, uh, I could see into. Where do you think framed? Is there a snow? Boris? No. Laura. It would be Laura, because Laura. Margaret? No. Unlikely. Freddy got fair. Shut up. Sophie. Maybe Sophie's the one who did it. No? Okay. I think that's right, right? This is free. Oh, wait a second. Hold on a second. Freddy's being... Freddy has the right mug. Freddy's being... Framed is right. Okay, so Freddy is correct. Email lunch mug bag bag Fuck who is it? Rufus? So someone so he picked up the wrong bag and it's not Sophie. Dirty gym gym clothes. Who the fuck? Where's... I want to see Manfred. No? Who the fuck would it be then? If it's not Boris... Can't be Freddy. Can't be Laura. Hi, math. Dirty gym clothes. Sophie? I generally thought it was going to be Rufus, but maybe Margaret? It'd be funny if it was Margaret. Detective work isn't easy. The thing that bothered me in particular, to figure out the situation about the culprit, I had to consider... Uh... I was wondering who was involved in this business. I had to consider that not all identities were known yet. I was sure they'd come to light at a later point. I needed to work out what Fredersen has to do with all this. That's Manfred, Ruby. And that's what I thought it was, but maybe I can ask this guy some questions. Mr. Brandenburg. Who the fuck is Mr. Brandenburg? Oh, all them. I've got. I've still not been to the server room. Maybe I can go to the server room. Hold on. 
So I've not been in there yet. What kind of a person is Boris Petrovich? Ugh. I don't know what I saw in him. I mean, I guess he's good looking, but my god, is he boring. <laughs> Damn. How are you getting on with Margaret Whitlock? She's sweet and all, but she can't keep her mouth shut. It seems like the office knows more about my personal life than me. Okay. Hello there. Hey, Andy. It says it's locked. It's locked. Is there like, can I get a key somewhere? How do I get into the server room? If I look at the the map, the server room is the only place I haven't been. I'm good, Andy. How you doing? Mm, do 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 do. Are you anything else? Can I ask this lady? No. Pretty sure I've asked everyone Irvin. I think. Boom, 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 boom. Wasn't it was, I'm glad it wasn't too stressful for you. I mean, the other option is I've got all the clues, right? So... I can just... Wait. Hold on. Hello, Roy. How you doing today? How was your stream? How in the heck is Paper Mario? I'm going to be starting that on Saturday and I'm very excited. I can Uncle Grumpus, Roy, Jammy, Die Guy, Papa the Cowboy, Welcome One in Friends. How you doing? How's your heckin' how would you enjoy Roy's team? Roy, how would you enjoy Paper Mario? Tell me all about it. If you are new here, we beat Indigo Park today, and now we're playing the Duck Detective, which is being a pain in the ass, because I'm pretty sure I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it's a fucking salami man again. Pupper, hello. It was as I thought. Math. Freddy Fredersen was actually being framed. Now, if you need to pick one that's on the list. This office wasn't as boring as it looked. No, Yuki. I keep when forgetting. Freddy took the bus back, and he went to pick up his luggage. Yeah. He must have picked up the wrong bag. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. It would be. The bag that he picked up belonged to... The Ooh. Salami Bandit! Right. This made him a target. And to get rid of Freddy, the Salami Bandit decided to frame him. Freddy Ferguson. Everyone! It's time for You Know What! Roy, enjoy having birthday dinner with Grumpus. Grumpus, enjoy your birthday. Happy early birthday. Shadow Kid, hello. Okay, get into position. I just texted her, so she should be here in a... Huh? What's this? Surprise! Oh, uh, surprise! Uh, no way. <laughs> this is all for me? Yay! They didn't forget her birthday. Huh? A letter? Uh. Oh. Right. Salami? Yes, we need to hang on. present. I'll see you later. No, you silly idiot. The real present got stolen and switched for salami. It's the salami bandit. The salami I bandit. I a high grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is. I've been telling you all along, we can't trust Fredrickson. 
nothing. By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Hmm. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to a present being stolen. Or is there more to it? Is there more to it? Maybe. Maybe she hates salami. <laughs> It'll be okay. You have the duck detective here to figure everything out. Roy, enjoy the fashion <laughs> chic. Uh -huh. What can you possibly do? I will figure it out. Leave me alone. Game night, you have a good sleep. That's not nice at all. Who messes with someone's birthday? Okay. my present i mean now she's crying but i think i saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine i should really get back to work uh, okay hold on a sec wait a minute. so this is the book sad duck noises i don't look wait sexy aliens want my number by Suffer Cyrides. Cyrides. Ah, oh, sexy aliens. Okay, six hundred and twenty-one total pages. That can't be a coincidence. Oh, oh God! What did I just read? Salami. The Salami Bandit. What does it say? Buongiorno, everyone. Quite unbelievable. I entered the office, really. Easily. Lol. Sayonara, edgelords. These are not just so few. Weird message. I wonder what the purpose of that letter is. Adding this to the case files. Birthday letter. It's a heart-shaped necklace. <laughs> Looks tacky. <laughs> Looks tacky. Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. It says limited edition. We love Kitty limited edition plushie. Hold on. I should now, I think, have access to her computer. Okay. So, Sophie received the following presents from her colleagues. Um, Margaret gave the book. No, Margaret. Margaret gave the book. I think Laura gave the plushie. I think Boris gave the necklace. I don't know what the thing yet, so I'm going to leave that like that for the moment. Margaret gave the plushie. I don't know. Like, listen, I've got you, right? You can be my limited edition plushie. think about this letter people don't know how to write letters by hand anymore what's with the weird line breaks the weird line breaks <laughs> they, they really think i've done it talk detective you have to help me nice andy y you know it wasn't me right did you not think it was strange that your bag was full of salami uh i don't know I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. <laughs> I love giving someone a salami surprise. I love that I can hit the chairs. That has to be the raid message. Yeah, I'll give you a salami surprise. Do you know anything about this letter? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Frederson. Only he would find this funny. I'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of Frederson's misconducts. It wasn't Frederson. Everything is pointing towards him. I will present the true culprit soon enough. I blame you, I Manfred. How long it takes you. This will be Frederson's last day. 
I'll find a way to prove him innocent. Mark my words. I'll take a quack at the, this case and I'm oh, fucking whatever. I gotta forget the present thing. So. Can you tell me something about this letter? Sophie won't even talk to me about it. I don't know what to do. I need to know what you gave her. My guess is it was the plushie. Cake books got stolen? No. Cake bag letters. Mm, I could give the book for sure. Laura gave, maybe did, Laura didn't give the plushie. Maybe no, Laura did give the plushie. Uh, Boris. Okay, so now Boris gave gave the necklace. Margaret gave a book. So those are right. Unless Margaret didn't give the book. Margaret didn't give the book. Okay, hold on, Manfred. Hmm. But Margaret, uh, oh, shut I up! I, I didn't mean to. I ah. should... <clears throat> so Margaret, he didn't give Margaret her. Hmm. I think it's the books making your brain ache. Wait, no, fuck. That's bars. Um. The weird nerd didn't give her the thanks to the book and group, but well, so the Mar Margaret is. I think Margaret gave the book because because it says on her like computer, me and alien sexy book or whatever. So hold on. Hey Wolfie, let me check then. I go here. Oh, I need to go read the book again. Um. Ah, ma, Wolfie, I have a dedicated quack button. Right. Captain Bray Beekster, deep in the aliens' eyes, there were 12 of them, they were red. The eyes, not the aliens, the aliens were blue. There were 43, all of them were shiny metal armor. So shiny blue alien. Shiny blue alien? Should get the wolfie button? Is that where I press on your prostate? Um. Red eyed. What was that? What was up, Nico? Oh, hey, thanks. What going on?
Me and sexy aliens. I need to... Uh, I need to read it again. Blue eyes, white dragon? Yes. Blue skin, red eyes, shiny armor. Yeah, Grumpus, all the time. All right, hold on. Um, me, the lead alien. No, I'm in a noise and a... Right. Talking. From a hole that looked a bit like a pretty lady's mouth. The translation device Captain had. Da -da -da -da. I don't get it. Captain Brady stared deep into the aliens' eyes. There were 12 of them and they were red. The eyes, not the aliens. The aliens were blue. And there were 43. All of them wore shiny metal armor which shined like something shiny made of curved metal. <laughs> Terrible book, by the way. Captain Brightbeak could tell us the lead because there was one which stepped forward also the most beautiful. The only one with purple eyes. Purple eyes. Hold on. A little noir, yeah. Purple eyes alien. Bang! Got it! I cracked it. Let's see what secret she has on her computer. Okay. Wait, what? Cutie? Delete everything? Deleting data? A legal activity? Accomplice? Never gonna give you up, dot wav. Wow. Vacation plan trip. Okay. Cutie? Arts? Alien cutie? Lovers? Who is this person she's messaging? You see or hear my voice? You see my voice, Wolfie? Can't believe you see my voice. That's crazy. Every time I, I, I see you in chat or on stream, Wolfie, I think of it every time that I would look at you um, in person and you would go and like look at me with a big smile. It's not nice at all. Who messes with some? Okay. Well. How does that? But that's. It's her computer, right? So who's she being? Wait, no, hold on. Wait, hold on. Who's the big gossip? That Sophie might know. I don't know. No. No. God fucking damn it. Do you, you know? No. Why? Who the... Wait. Her computer's open. Let's have a look over here, shall we? This folder says manual for CS agents. Mm -hmm. How and when to create vouchers correctly. I'm falling asleep just reading the title. I have Janaya, I think it's time to follow. And the, you know, oh, oh, please clean her desk. I can smell it from here. Plants. She's a complainer. Wait, what? What a dumb pen name. It's just his name backwards. Wait. Wait a minute. Fringe chat. Mystery offer. Wait, hold on a second. You definitely don't want to be Laura's enemy. I need to go look at that book again. <laughs> well, mate, I've been giving that sub to Hi Heidi Cakes. Heidi Cakes, enjoy those emails. I'm viewing and welcome back to the Crow Kingdom. Said, said, it's Rufus. Rufus gave the book. Forest gave an ankle sorga and uh nothing got stolen. Oh so nothing got stolen after all. Hey journal. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. Okay. And
Maybe I need to go speak to Rufus again. Fan of all that high school. People just cry over everything. Nope. That does not help me. Uh, let's go outside. So the penguin wrote the book. Customs procedure. Prohibited goods, trombones, and meat. Gun. Scary. What do they have against potatoes? What meat was on the prohibited list? Maybe it did Sophie ask about me? She might have mentioned you. Did she really? I bet my present will blow her away. Okay. The message. Sophie received a romantic necklace that contained a romantic letter? No. Uh, scary salami contained you, oh yeah, well they no he got her the necklace They received a nice necklace contained a romantic letter. Doesn't work. Okay. Cakes, necklaces, books, plushies, salamis are being ill. No, wait, hold on. No, hold on. Salamis are being illegally imported from. Is it Brazil? Stolen? I was hoping for guns, but like... Alicia. That explains all the high-grade salami. I just needed to find out who was behind this. Somebody's importing the salami. Okay. So received a uh, um message. Received a a scary message that contained a silly. Salami. I'm trying to think of what this could be. What did she receive? She received a silly message. No. You think you got it? Uh huh. I'm listening. received a romantic letter containing a nice necklace well it can't be because scary is one of them Sophie received a uh, so, so that was silly
Or sent her the letter. I don't know. So we received a silly something that contained a scary something. Cake? No. Plushy. No. Letter? No, see, I thought it was letter. Necklace. I don't get it. Message? We tried message. Two or fewer things is wrong. So it's good. I think it's salami and necklace are the two that are wrong at the moment. But I don't know what they could be. Um. Uh, Lodi, I'm gonna bite you. What could it be? Sophie received a silly something that contained a scary something. So was she got upset when she saw salami? Present? Is present a thing? Gift? No? Letter message? No. Message? Aha! You're right, Singe. Sophie was receiving threats. I needed to find out why. The mystery of the Salami Bandit was slowly getting unraveled. Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. This is why the Salami Bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West. Smuggling it to the east. Productive. And selling it at a high profit. The Salami Bandit. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter from the Salami Bandit that had a hidden, threatening message. I don't think. I mean. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. Is it maybe the fucking person here front complaining? Like, I don't know. Thanks for coming, everyone. Well, everyone except for Sophie. Hmm. Where is she? Slacking off, playing on her computer phone. Computer phone. She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <coughs> I will start then regardless. I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Who is the murderer? I... What? No one died! Nobody died! I'm getting raped! I'm telling you! What a load of baloney. Baloney. He's right, actually. He is getting framed. What? Why would anyone bother? Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Why would anyone bother? <laughs> Get to the point. This is a rumorous quake. This quake is really all that's quacked up to me. A conspiracy. <gasps> this is ridiculous. Why are we still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office? I'm leaving. That's a, a certified <laughs> private investigator and It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from South Sicilia using your very own buses. Huh? What's going on? Okay, this is going too far. I really have more important things to do. Sin thing with the follow. I'm guessing it's the it's Manfred. Does that mean we're losing our jobs? Ginny, uh, fingers to fall. Maybe. Ah! Listen, everybody. It's really important that no one leaves the premises. 
<sighs> I need to get back to work. This cat really likes working. Oh, everybody's leaving. Damn it, Boris. Rufus. Guy. Oh. I'm still here, Mr. Duck Detective. Uh, yeah. Etras and thank you for the two hacking years. At I can't believe it's been two years. Thank you so much for the two years at tier one. Two years of woo. I really can appreciate it. Enjoy this email sad viewing and welcome back to the crowd kingdom. What are we doing well today? Fangs! Nobody leave. Oh shit, they've all left. Alright, the receptionist. I need to go figure out what the hell wait, hold on. Fuck you. This is getting intense, isn't it? I say, Rolf. Maybe you could need a little help? You seem lonely. I could be your assistant. What do you want me to do? D uh, decipher messages? Talk someone into telling us the truth? Follow people around? Oh my god. I'm pretty good at that. Just stay here. Stay out of the I way. Guess. Yep, you're doing great. What a great assistant. Uh, nothing's changed. Nothing. Nothing's shit. Wait. Well, no doubt they no. Nothing's changed. I touch this phone here, though. Katie, Katie Sinjoyer. Um. Wait, hold on. Almost dead. I think that's. I think that's um, Laura talking to Sophie. What the fuck? Hold on a second. They didn't respond. I'm the best comp there is, baby. I'll find out everything. This is curious. Why would she write like this? Someone forgot their phone. Holy hello. Hmm, something seems suspicious. I've done that already. Wait, is there a new? No, that's the same. Hmm. Oh, who would hire me at this age? Oh, maybe I can be a, a real estate agent. I always wanted to be a rich real estate agent. Yeah. I don't know if I was hissing your cards, you lady. Didn't she say she needed to get back to work? Can I read this computer? Aha. Uh -huh. Looking for a job. We'll do almost anything. Buy my book. Eugene McQuacklin, Duck Detective at Blue Sky. <laughs> He's a Blue Sky! I wonder. Actually, wait, chat. I need to know. Hold on. Is that an actual Blue Sky account? I need to know. Um, if I go search here, Doc Detect. It literally is a, a Blue Sky account. That's amazing. It's literally just the. That's all there is. It's just those posts. That's brilliant. I love that. That's fantastic. Sorry, I just had to check chat. I love it, right? That's amazing. Literally what you're looking at. I know, I love it. It's fantastic. Um, tempted to follow it. Same. I was like, oh, do I follow? But then I was like, ah, but they're probably, they're probably never going to post on it again unless there's like a sequel or like a DLC or something. <clears throat> uh, Andy, I am drinking uh, more Raspberry Ripple Lime Brew Extra. Kidnapping. Kidnapping, murder, and stalking. Why are these getting added to my list? Someone is clearly obsessed with detectives. I'd love to make a game. I'd love to make a, 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 a video game. Wait a minute. Oh. S Sophie left. I don't think, think she left a note on the desk. I don't think she left. I think she was like grabbed. 
Hold on, talk to you, this guy first. She left? Just like this? Maybe she's at home. Should I look for her? That's it. I quit. You'll never see me again. Sophie. That's not. Never. Dramatic. It's. This is the fucking salami bandit. Is she? Wait, no. Is she in the server room? What a dramatic turn. I should keep this as evidence. Yeah, clear signs of the struggle. She left her plushie in her oven. And all her birthday gifts. Did you read Sophie's letter? I did. Something's off. Something's different. Hmm. This is the note Sophie left. Can you tell me more about it? There's the person. Doesn't right. Make sense at all that she just suddenly leave. She definitely needs the money, and she would have told me. I'm her friend. We were here. I don't know if you were here earlier, Fangs. We were talking about um, Indigo Indigo Park and how much I really want that Rambly plush. Let's see. The last dialed number on this phone is zero three zero five. One seven seven seven. Uh, okay. It says it's locked. Still locked. Okay. An unknown number. Anywhere. I'll tell them everything. Don't. Wait. You, huh? Expect my coworkers for the birthday is my turn birthday today no one can tell me i don't need much but at least a handwritten card would be nice hmm i guess sleeping features <laughs> nice can't believe I, she complained about this online very tempted to buy i was very tempted to buy the lucario but uh i did not giant lucario in my future was 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 a was, uh, was something i didn't need right now i didn't need to spend 400 pound on it a rambly is probably only a I've got the catnap plush. I love catnap. All right, hold on. You, dramatic one. Talk to me. What do you think of this note? It's of course, you, of course you do, Neko. Is it? Would you want to work with someone you've dated in the past? Basically, a husband. Yeah, he's your house husband. Why would Laura recruit you to deal with a theft? Aren't there any other detectives who are actually qualified for the job? I've been doing very well so far, if I do say so myself. The truth will be revealed in the end. Mr. Chandra, fair. It's your snuggly life partner. I want a snuggly life partner. Yes. Hi, Sam. Sam, thank you so much for the resub. I can, can't believe... I appreciate your face. Enjoy those emails, everyone. Welcome back to the Kyrie Kingdom. He's not here. I can finally fuck with his, po his, his portrait. Finally, Manfred is out of his office. Time to see what's behind his precious family portrait. Uh, maybe. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What? CS00BD. CS zero zero BD. Um. Um. Same you baited. You played finger. Is it good? I cannot wait, Grumpus, for the next chapter. It was so good. Uh, right, hold on. CS. Do we have a CS? No. Is there a book and desk involving CS agents? Yes. Parking lot, his bag, and the kitchen. Okay, hold on. It's a letter for an apple signed by. Why does this say look at it again? What a said. Okay. And you know, I put you in the box. Thanks, the one in the crayon box, not me.
There's something else in here. What do you think of Sophie's resignation? Oh, huh? I guess Boris was overdoing it a bit with that present. I did tell him to cool off a bit. Why are people not listening to me? Oh, Boggs is going to be cat enough, but I'm all cat. Meow. It's a heart shape. <laughs> Looks. Okay. Is that right? So let's go talk to the guy in the fucking lot. Meow. Meow. I am part cat, but like, I love boxes. They're fun to sit in. Have you seen Sophie's resignation? <laughs> no. I can't say it comes at a surprise. She never particularly enjoyed her job. It's difficult finding replacements nowadays, though. It's not really a detective's job to spin crazy conspiracy theories, is it? Sometimes the truth is pretty crazy. Seems a bit cheap. Hmm. Yeah, cheap added to clues. Right. Oh. I feel like there's something that we're missing. You're a bit cheap. Asshole. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking. CS agents was over here. Customer service. This folder says how and when I'm falling asleep. Not that. Customer service. Zero zero. Quack. You want me to quack? Right. CS and it's a single number that goes up to nine. Zero, zero and BD. BD, 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 BD. What could BD be? What could BD be? Sophie? Oh. Stalked because Boris wanted to. No. Why don't ducks fly on their backs? Because if they do, they quack. Bus back. driver. So, would that be two, one, one? He's at our office. He's in the office. Their thingy. Is it maybe four? So it was two office agents. One. No, it was two. It was two. Oh, I always wanted to open a ridiculously big. Two customer site. service offices. One off uh, uh, upper office or whatever it is. One uh, upper off up, up thingy operations office guy and four bus drivers because that's what it told me on the bit of paper. Keys. This will take me to the server room. Uh, I see. Thinking out demands. Make me employer of the month. TV in my room. Keep quiet about the thing. Do all the things and nothing will happen to you. And still think of the vault. Blackmail? Enemy? Dear Ingrid, I know I haven't been there for you and the kids recently, but things are looking up. I would love to take you on a romantic getaway to Holland Days. Love, Manfred. Love, Lenners? Two writers, different handwriting. Wait, so the writing is his? Off a lot of security for a branch manager of a bus company. Wait, this keychain. Here it is. The key for the server room. Yeah, we did it. 
We get server room key. Okay. Uh, what if we go kidnap because Boris wanted to snitch? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure. We'll go to the server. We'll go from there. Katie, welcome in. Squish you. And yes, you back. I think Manfred's the one behind it. But I think he's being blackmailed into doing it. I don't know by who yet, though. Let's find out together, chat. Let's see what's hidden in here. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, secret detective business. Maybe Laura is in it. Hmm. I'm going inside the server room. The electrical sparks and blinking lights created a claustrophobic atmosphere. Claustrophobic I atmosphere. I felt that I wasn't supposed to be here. This is where I'm not meant to be. What's he keeping in all these boxes? Boxes. I don't think it's meant to do this. <gasps> I think she was staying here because she was working so much. Bags and dries. Anxious. Grizzly detective. Breadcrumbs. Shame. <laughs> Tattered hat, poor. Has that been there the whole day? It's a mirror, Zayden. It's a mirror. Ah. He's a bear boss, 100 Shamark voucher. Here to delete easy, easy selling history. Okay. Dad, this is not Google. <gasps> Camera free playback. What's up with these bear bus vouchers on Easy? Honestly, this is nicer than my apartment. Okay. There's a book. There's a bunch of these alien books there right okay hold on so rufus is the one doing it because this is um this, those books were written by rufus so don't forget to kidnap because rufus wanted to go home no leave cry <laughs> snitch ah. sophie got freddy got framed because rufus oh no is that right Damn it, stop saying that. Ah, fuck off. No, right, okay. Ready. That's not changing. Manfred got blackmailed. No. It's not changing anything. Okay, so kidnapped is correct. Sophie? Can you please just not do that? Sorry, so Sophie's got kidnapped because a salami bandit wanted to leave? Go home. Snitch. Cry. Um. Wait, I get it. No. Because uh, fuck. no, someone wanted to snitch, or the <laughs> salami bandit. I'll salami your bandit. Do, 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 do. Got it. Sophie got kidnapped. 
There must be more to this. Sophie got kidnapped. All right, there we go. Here's the big one, chat. Fucking, fucking A, right. Manfred got blackmailed. No, wait, sorry, Rufus. Rufus, Rufus. Rufus blackmailed Manfred to make him or her stay quiet about Sophie. No. Who was illegally doing it? Who was illegally doing it? Someone illegally importing salami. No, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Uh, illegally, um, selling tickets, vouchers. Rufus is the one that provides Sami. Okay, that's wrong. Manfred? Okay, so that was right. Rufus blackmailed Manfred to make him or her stay quiet about Rufus illegally selling vouchers. Manfred is on that. Okay, is Salami wrong? No, that's right. So, who could this. Rufus? So what two things wrong? So that's uh Rufus safe here, Rufus illegally selling And this is right, yeah? Yeah, okay, so the virtues is right. And then but someone maybe change virtues to slime is that's wrong. Yeah, three things is wrong, so that's wrong. So the virtues are right. Manfred is under. No, wait, hold on, wait. Laura. Vouchers? No. Manfred. <sighs> Two or fewer things is wrong. Rufus blackmail Manfred to make him or her stay quiet about Rufus legally selling vouchers. So that wouldn't make sense. So someone has to be the one providing the vouchers. Is it Sophie? <clears throat> Slimy is still a ch mm, Maybe? Uh, Slimy Bandit. Yes, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, it was Margaret. So this is what Rufus and Margaret were doing with the vouchers. That makes sense. She did have vouchers on her computer. That might be illegal, but this wasn't what I was here for. I needed to catch the salami bandit. She did have a yeah. She did I have stuff on her computer. To find out where Sophie was being kept. I also couldn't let the salami bandit get away with this. It was finally time to find out who was behind everything. Hey, hello. Oh. Oh, I actually have enough. Sophie is at... Oh, God. Uh, Sophie is at Bear Bus. Bear Bus is... Office. Under... Us? 
I, I, I guess I'm assuming Twitch just went, ha, huh? you don't, you've not been there in like a week. We'll unfollow you now. It does happen, but hey, Tay, welcome back. How you doing? Uh, on, in, under, station. Okay, so the bus was correct. In, in a bus. Office. Oh my god! Makes sense when Manfred That's is out there. That's where she is being kept. It's important that I stayed calm now. I couldn't alert the culprit. Or all of this will have been for nothing. Well, I think for the bomb. to first figure out who is behind everything. So I could confront them. So I could confront them. Me. Someone is a slumby bandit because... And his or her are... Oh god. Um... I want to say I don't have a fucking clue here. Um expensive Manfred because Manfred because wait no hold on. Ties right, three things are wrong. So is it this one? Okay, so Manfred is a slimy bandit because Manfred, no. Who has expensive shit? It's not Rufus, is it? No. My guess is Margaret? No. Boris. Ready. Laura. Fuck knows. The salami bandit. The bags are identical. Oh. Manfred is a slimy bandit because slimy bandit and his... Ty wrong? Ty is not wrong. Handwriting! Handwriting are the same! It was because of the, the, the note in the safe! Manfred is the salami bandit! That makes a lot of sense. Ironic that his handwritten note meant to frame Frederson ended up incriminating Manfred instead. Something was missing here. Who else was involved with this? I had collected everything I needed. I just had to organize my thoughts. Welcome back, Riku. It was the man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, right. Fucking hell, there's two things left? Right, okay. Manfred is a salami bandit. Uh, man, no, hold on. That's how else needs someone who could easily carry out. Importing, murdering, sir, selling. Stalking, helping, dating, selling of the salami i'm thinking i'm thinking rufus accomplice to a few okay i'm gonna go with rufus no friend no accomplice is right selling uh importing that's correct so no wait wait margaret margaret Pictures. Margaret, Margaret, Margaret is the compass snow. So it had to be importing. It's importing an accomplice. Um But these are wrong. Not Rufus. Boris? Interesting. Salami Bandit wasn't working alone. It made sense for the bus driver to be involved. I thought Rufus was the bus driver. I must have got the I got the mistake. The name is mistake. Mix up. Uh, infatuation. Someone is. Uh, oh God! Is it Margaret? Is it Margaret? Lover? Uh, because he used to date. Wait, Margaret? No, Sophie. Sophie is the Slime Bandit's lover because he she used to date. Um, Boris. That's not being someone who could convince Boris into helping? No. S selling? No. Stalking? No. Help. 
I don't fucking know. Um. I don't know what was wrong. I feel. Um. She's Jim's burger. Got it. I couldn't believe Sophie managed to talk Boris into this. Aha! I had it all figured out now. It was time that I confront the culprits. But first, I had to free Sophie. I thought he was going to say, I had to pee. I don't know why. I, oh. I saved her. I did it. Why is everyone yelling? This looks dramatic. It's kind of a long story. And guess who deduced said long story? Me. The one and only Duck Detective. It is I, Lead the Duck Detective. The this is how everything went down. The Brits of Barabas branch was suffering losses and had their budget cut as a result. Manfred, worried about the financial stability of his family, felt himself backed into a corner. This is when he became the Salami Bandit. He made his grand plan of salami smuggling and realized he couldn't do this alone. He recruited Boris since it would be easiest for the bus driver to load and unload the wares discreetly. The bus would go through a customs check at the Salsiccia bus station first. And then Boris would take a detour to get the salami and load it onto the bus. This is why the buses always had a huge delay. It wouldn't be easy to talk Boris into crime, so Manfred convinced Sophie to join the team. Boris's obsession with her would make it easy for her to manipulate him into helping with their plan. He was darker. Everything was going well until the duck detective, that's me, infiltrated the office. <laughs> Freddy was meant to be the scapegoat for the crime, but I'm not fooled that easily. Sophie began getting cold feet and ultimately wanted to confess to the police. Manfred couldn't have this, so he interfered. In an outburst of panic, he abducted her and hid her in the luggage compartment of one of the buses. Is that being the fall? And this is why Manfred stole Laura's lunch. What? Everything is figured out, but who is truly guilty? Or what? Manfred. Sophie and Boris are all involved in the smuggling. Who should get arrested for their crimes? Um. Manfred was the mastermind behind everything. Should Manfred get arrested? Yes. He is the reason this all started in the first place. Of course he should be arrested. What about Sophie? Without her, the smuggling wouldn't have been possible. She manipulated poor Boris into taking the salami across the border. Middle Eskishu. Sure. Should Sophie get arrested? Uh, hmm. I don't see. You know, we don't know because we don't know how he bribed her into doing it in the first place. So, like, is she is she a culprit, or is she just like, is she is she a victim? You know, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. We all think, yeah, we all think that Sophie should be arrested on her birthday. We think that she we should she should be arrested on her birthday. Is that what we think? She's just an intern. Well, she's a receptionist. Arrest them all. Be a hard knock detective. One who doesn't let anyone get away with with Oh, if we've had a, we've had, we've had a slap in the wrist and a intern of crime. No, you don't think so? 
and this is legal probably you know what i don't know It'd be nice mm. oh i don't <sighs> yeah she was probably in on it i think boris shouldn't though because he was manipulated what she did was clearly illegal she needs to face the consequences boris was at the end of the chain had he refused to take the salami on board the plan would have not worked out should boris get arrested i'm gonna say boris no because again like you know he was he was clearly i don't think that i don't think he was in he just wanted to help out the girl or that he loved i don't, I don't know he didn't even realize what was happening. Boris has no idea. I don't think this is a basis for arresting someone. All right. I've made up my mind. Hey, Chaz. I will report to the state police. Manfred. Sophie. And I do it again. Anything to secure my family's well-being. I'm not sure grand-scale salami smuggling was necessary for that. <laughs> How else was I going to cope with all the budget cuts? If anyone actually worked in this office, we wouldn't have such terrible performance in the first place. Hey, I work. <laughs> yes, and then you keep asking for promotions. You deserve it. How she am I going to give anyone a promotion if we have people baking cakes during working hours? That's a fair point. <laughs> And while we're at it, Rufus, how dare you embezzle money from the company and then threaten me? <laughs> That's... Rufus said we're only doing that until his book takes off. And then I'll play the lead alien in the movie adaptation. Look who's going to jail now, Manfred. Not me, that's for sure. I mean, uh, I don't know about that one. I stand by what I said. I regret nothing. What is this? If I had known that calling the duck detective would result in this, I would have never done it. You were supposed to find out who stole my lunch, not accuse my best friend of smuggling. <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea from the beginning. Why did Boris have to lose the my god, he is such an idiot! I had no idea it was that important. Why didn't anyone tell me about the plan? You said your cousin was ill, and the only thing that would make her happy was the salsiccia salamis. I was right. Uh, I should have known. If you're stupid enough to believe that... Then you're also too stupid to bring a couple sausages across the border. Wow, you really did quack the case, Mr. Duck Detective. You're just as cool as I imagined. Not now, Ferdison. <laughs> Not now, Ferdison. The truth. The truth is an ugly mistress. It is my duty to throw bread to the fine beak of Lady Justice. You did it. 98 players decided to arrest. 64%. Wow, people, more people decided to arrest Boris than they did Sophie. More people were more interested in, 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 in arresting Boris than Sophie. He had no idea. That's so harsh. Wait, what? What, Rubri? Everyone wanted Manfred to go fucking down, though. Everyone wanted Manfred to go down. If you're depending on the blame American. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like Rufus should have also got uh, uh, arrested, but, you know. That's it, Jan. That's the, the cold, harsh truth of justice. That was it. The Duck Detective, everybody. I really liked the character designs and the style. It was really cute. I want to... I, Ruby, I want to be like, like Spider-Man tomorrow. Like, ah, oh, today we walked into the... I stepped out into the rain and my fur ruffled. 
I couldn't believe that it was raining today and all day, the day of my birthday, where I, uh, I was going for, uh, a, a cheeseburger, and... <laughs> What? Did I miss something? <laughs> Sean Chiplock was the duck. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. Fucking, fucking, R fucking Ravali Rufus man. Rufus? Was it was that right? Was it the Ravali? Was that Rufus? No. Oh crap! Whoever the Ravali is. I completely forgot to collect my payment from Laura. Oh, damn it. Everybody already went home. How am I going to pay for the bus? If later on, gamer. <sighs> you sure he was the he was home. um the bird Zan, do you know the bird? The the Rivali bird in Ahem. Need a ride? Breath of the Wild. I just booked this one. It's been such a long <laughs> day after all. No, thank you. Come on, it'll be fun! Plus you must be tired after all the detective work. I really don't. Please? <sighs> I... <sighs> yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. Die, the duck detective. Went home in the car with Great. a crocodile. Now I finally have time to tell you all about my ideas for your social media. Oh, shit. Please don't. I could get you tons of publicity. No. And... Imagine, we can team up. Absolutely not. <laughs> and I can be your sidekick. I'm the duck detective and I dig a quack out of crime. The end for now. But a detective's job is never done. 